you know I think as a black man in America we have to talk and discuss what's important to us. We have to talk about our problems. You know, a lot of brothers don't want to talk about the issue, they keep it to themselves. So when you discuss your problem and issue you face in America with another black man or a bunch of other black guys, and you can come up with a solution. And you can come up with a solution. <laughs> so I was, I was at a friend house and we were watching a hockey game. And another brother came in. And we started talking about the situation we're facing in the state of Minnesota. I mean, in the U.S. in general. The racism, the discrimination, the oppression, the harassment. So we were just, we were just discussing right? about some of the situation that we face as a, black, as a black man in America. And I think... And I think it's a good thing, you know, it's a good thing. Instead of keeping our problem to ourselves, hey, discuss your issues and problems, your obstacles, you know, with other brothers. You know, two hair better than one, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Talk about your issue, your problem you're facing in America as a black man. With other brothers. And then this way you can come up, you can discuss the issue and come up with a, 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 a solution. Instead of just thinking it to yourself and by yourself. So, um, so that was, that was a good thing. That we were talking about the issue that we're facing in America as a black man. Uh, he's like, he said, bro, are you going through the same thing? I said, yeah. I said, oh, man, I'm going through the same thing. Or oh, I went through the same thing. And that's a good thing. Because keeping everything to yourself is not healthy. So talk, talk to a brother, a friend, a girlfriend, a boyfriend. Because I want women. A lot of black women going through the same thing. So women women should discuss a problem with, with other sisters. With other sisters as well. That way, you know, you can come up with a solution to the problem. You know what I mean? So it, it was a good discussion that we had. So, yeah, it's necessary. Necessary that black people discuss their problem, talk to people that can help them or give them a solution. It's really, really necessary. You no, know, I just want to report that in the video for other brothers not to be afraid to discuss their problem with other brothers. Because that way, because we know we, we all face similar issues, so that way you can. Other brother can come up with ideas. They can talk about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm out here in the park making videos. Yeah, right from the highway. Yeah, right from the highway. It's been raining all day. It's been raining since this morning, but it's starting to rain again. And according to 
according to weather prediction, they said it will be a thunderstorm. So, according to weather prediction, it's supposed to be a thunderstorm coming to Minnesota. I'm not sure. Because mankind cannot predict the weather. It's up to nature to decide. But it's just been raining all day. This kind of weather like make you sleepy, tired. <laughs> so guys. Once again, making another video. But this time I'm, I'm discussing about issue that, we, issue that we face at Black Men in America. And a lot of the time we keep the issue and problem to ourselves. And you got brother committing suicide because they keep everything within themselves. They don't discuss it. They don't let it out. And you got brother... The suicide rate of black men in America has gone up. Yeah, because we, we, we want to carry everything to ourselves. I know. We don't want to discuss it. Okay? But it is necessary to discuss our problems. Okay? This is the park I used to come to during coronavirus. And when I used to come here, and when I used to come to the park, nobody used to be here. It was just me. Nobody used to be here, just me. <laughs> then I used to come to the park to work out. Then I see, I see the police going by. Sometimes they even park the car washing me. I'm like, I'm like, what this guy want? You never see an African before you. You parking your car washing me? Yeah, I used to come to the park during Corona two years ago, working out all by myself. Because when you tell people stay in their house all day, they get stressed and depressed. And that can even cause them problems. You can make them sick. So I used to come to the park to work out. Okay, all by myself. I used to come here to work out. So I hope you like this video. Share, comment, suggest, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. This right here, is for, these are for vegetables. So, summertime, they, 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 they plant vegetables here. Summertime. Uh, summertime, they plant vegetables here. So in the next, in the next, in the next two or three months, people come and get free vegetables. We say in the next two months because it's gonna be hot soon. Uh, we are in April, May. So I would say by the end of May, we should have some fruit and vegetable right here. Yeah. Yep. So I just wanted to. I just wanted to make that video, guys, about our situation in America as a black man. So, 
talk to your friends, talk to your family. If, if there is an organization you can talk to, talk to, talk to that organization about your issues in America. Yeah, you don't want to just keep everything to yourself. You know, it builds a lot of anger within you too because you got better community suicide because they're going through stuff and they're getting no help and support. Yep. So I hope you guys like this video. Share, like, and subscribe, and comment, and suggest. This is your man, bringing you the truth. Peace out.